It's that prequel, Megs. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition Voyager Class Megatron. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we got Megs looking all Megsy Gamer Edition Megatron Studio Series Transformers. Let's side of the box, we have Megs yet again looking all kinds of handsome, so handsome. On this side, Megs close up handsome. He is a Voyager class, a class of Voyager, Voyager class, a class of Viajero, and a class a Voyager. Up top, Transformers, War for Cybertron. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have your very brief bio. If you want to read it in multiple languages, hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have Studio Series Megatron, the next in this Gamer Edition subline of Studio Series. And here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at that Mega Crotch, but at that Mega Noggin. Focus, you focus on the Mega Noggin. There it is. It's a, it's a pretty nice head sculpt there. He's just scowling. He's in a bad mood. He hasn't had his burrito today. No. But you can see the nice purple there in the chest, the red, Decepticon symbol right there, front and center. And some nice detail. Of course, as always, could use some more paint, you know, a little bit more of those, those uh, Energon Glow highlights, but, you know, it is what it is. One thing I'm not a fan of is the Fusion Cannon. I'm not sure if this is game accurate or not, but it just looks very plain. I'm not a fan of it. If it is game accurate, okay, but still not a fan of it because it just looks so plain. Um, but still, we got some nice details here. Got a little bit of that purple there in the crotch, because there's a mega crotch, by the way. But you got that purple detailing there in the legs. Your toesies. Kind of see things, how things get folded up there, move it up the back. You can see it's a clean transformation. You just have this little back piece going on here, but not really anything that could be called a backpack per se. So, all in all, a nice clean Megs. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head, I'm not sure if it's on the ball joints. I think it is, but just due to the shape of his head, there's not too much wiggly waggly. You can definitely get some rotation. Going on there, can do a full 360, but nothing really much as far as upward and downward movement goes. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You can see this piece here kind of moves out of the way to accommodate that. Um, you do have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. So you have a nice range of movement there. It's more for transformation than anything else, but hey, it's there if you need it. Um, nothing at the wrist, unfortunately. You do have some inward movement, again, due to transformation. Uh, you do have waist rotation. The legs can move forward that far. You can do them high kicks back that far. You can kick himself in the back of the head if he needs to. You do have thigh rotation. Now, his knees are weird. His knees are very weird, and I don't get why this is a thing. Um, so this little piece here, you can see here, on the back of his knee, there's this little bit here that's sticking out. And I have no idea what purpose this serves. All it does is it limits his knee articulation to that. That's it. That's as much as his knee can bend. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> This, this doesn't serve any purpose in the alt mode. It doesn't serve any purpose in the robot mode other than severely limiting your articulation. Now, granted, you can. This whole section does pop up, so you can actually move that out of the way, and you can get more of a knee bend out of it, but you have to undo this to access that. But I don't, I don't understand why this was a choice that was made. I don't know what this accomplishes exactly other than just making him not be able to move his legs all that much. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I just don't. But anyway, as far as the feet go, they can move up, they can move down. You do have ankle tiltage. The toe can even move down if you needed to to support any posing. 
Now, as far as accessories go, of course, we have the fusion cannon, which is already plugged onto his form, but we also get his, uh, his big old whacking stick right here. As you can see, just done in a dark gray. You got some purple in there. Some nice coloration. It pops. I can work with it. I'm sure DNA will put out a better looking one, but this one is perfectly serviceable. It does the job. I can work with it. And uh, one of two things we can do, of course, we can store it on his back, a little post port connection right there. So we can sling that across his back. Thing you can do if you want to do it. But of course, you can have him wielding his whacking stick. So he can pew pew whack whack, pew pew whack whack, and all of that good stuff right there. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the uh, Gamer Edition Bumblebee. With Gamer Edition Barricade. And with the Gamer Edition Prime. Now, I do have the original War for Cybertron Deluxe Megatron, but for the life of me, I cannot find it. I don't know what I did with it. It disappeared. It just freaking disappeared. But um, I, I do have the one that uh, Fred Tatashore signed for me. I have that one, and oh, the glare from the lights is going to not make this very good. That's I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is the best I can do. I can't find the other one. I don't know what I did with it. I'm so sorry, but you kind of get a sense there of... The scaling, I mean, I tried to match it up in here, and it seems like this one is a bit taller. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do a better comparison. I can't find it, I'm sorry. I kind of turned into Shockwave there for a second, but... <laughs> there you go! Now, another thing you can do, if you want to do it, is you can rip off his right forearm, like the other Gamer Edition figures. Again, it's just the right one that comes off. The left one is just stuck on there. Can't do it with that one, but you can plug the fusion cannon just straight onto that. It looks bad, but, you know, you can do it if you want to. Or you can have him wielding any of the other weapons from the other Game Edition figures. We can give him a Prime's Blaster. You can do that as well. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. Also, his uh, whacking stick, it does come apart. It's made up of two pieces. You can pop the... Uh, the head off if you want to because reasons i guess maybe you know can we do this can we do this no it doesn't work it doesn't work but you know what we can do i'll tell you what we can do oh oh i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you real good because the cannon is blush compatible yes it is blush compatible so we can put that wasn't supposed to happen we can put we can plug that in like so and do a uh, big old gamer edition mega Bloosh! oh yeah so that is basically it's for the robot mode so let's get down to transformation shall we let's so the first thing we're going to do is just remove the uh, fusion cannon here and put that off to the side we're going to open up the forearm panel here flip the hand in close that up same thing here just open that and close that back up next you want to take the legs and rotate them inward you're going to take these sections here and flip that out and flip that out you're going to open this section up here make sure this little panel is flipped out just bring this down. You're going to fold the toe in, and then the foot will just rotate in like that. And then you can bring this rest of the way out and close that up right there. And second verse, guess what, is just like the first. So just open this up. Make sure that this panel is flipped out. That one's a bit snug on mine. Bring that out. Bring this out. Flip in the toe, and then just take that whole foot and rotate it in there, like that. Straighten this out, close this up, and the legs are all ready to go. So now we're going to open up his chest here, and just shift it downward. And it'll sit right there, like so. It's like a giant mega diaper now. And... You want to now take his arm and fold it up using both of those hinges. 
like that. And you're going to swing the arm in and you have two tabs that are going to go into two slots. One goes right in here and one goes there. So just take it and just swing that in. Plug the other side in. Plug it in, plug it in. Come on. There we go. Tab that all together like that. This little panel here will just flip down. And then you got that side done. So now we're going to take this little back section and unfold it. You want to rotate it 180, straighten it out. And now you're going to take this arm and swing it back. Now what's going to happen here, make sure the arm is totally straightened out. There's a little tab right here. It's going to go into a notch right in here. And you have two tabs on his butt that are going to go into two slots right here in his forearm. So just push that in. It'll just clip itself into place. And usually those two tabs will just drop in where they need to go. And also there's a little, this little piece goes into a little notch right in there also. So a couple things there that are lining up, but they all line up together. So there you go. You have that done. And you're just going to two, take the legs and fold them up. You have a couple connection points here. You got tab slot connection here. You have a little tab right up in here. It's gonna go into a slot right there. So. Get everything lined up and tab that in. Same thing, second verse, like the first. You know how it works. Get all that lined up. This side likes to fight me a little bit, and I don't know why. I will say that. Go in your home. Go in your home. This is your home. Love it. Live it. There we go. Let's get all that situated right there, like that. And last thing to do, take the cannon and just plug it right up front. And so there you go. There you have War for Cybertron Megatron in his alt. Oh, you can get a pretty good spin out of him, too. And there he is in his alt mode. And he is his Cybertronian hover tank of murder. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it comes together pretty nicely, pretty cleanly. Again, this one side likes to fight me when I'm trying to get it all together. But it is totally doable. But, yeah, man, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. It doesn't look like much. But, again, hey, Cybertronian. Tack the word Cybertronian onto it. It doesn't really have to look like much of anything because it's alien. You don't know what alien vehicles look like. Do you know? I don't know. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Of course, the cannon done in nice gloss black. Got some more of those little uh, Energon purple glow accents going on there. And a lot of what we've already seen. We got some nice silver in here as well. And the back. Not a whole lot to it. And there is the top. There is the bottom. It, you know, he covers up his face. Not total visible head syndrome. You know, it, it, it's covered up, but it's there, but it's covered. Hey, any slides? Like hover tank slide. Hooray for sliding hover tanks. And for comparison, here he is with the Game Ray Edition B. With Barricade. With Prime. And uh, here is a picture of the original Deluxe's alt mode. Again, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's the best I can do. I'm so sorry. But there you go. Gotta get a sense, at least, of how the two look, you know. Sorry! Now, as far as his accessories go, you can store his whacking stick on the alt mode. Uh, you know, one thing you can do, you know, just for fun. You can plug it right up here. That's a thing. That's a thing you can do. Why not? Dare I say why not? But for the instructions, they want you to just plug it right up top. And there you go. There is your storage. Hooray for storage. And as always, we end with the display base that resides within the box. Come here, base of displayage. Come here. Come here. You go there. You stay here. There we go. Some more Cybertronian stuff there in the background. Studio Series 04, Gamer Edition, all of that good stuff. You can take your megs, plop them down, and he can rule over all. So there you have a Gamer Edition Megatron. And um, yeah, uh, honestly, I don't think this is better than the original Deluxe. I don't. Um, I don't think it's a bad figure, but I just don't think it's better than the original.
Now, one thing I do think is bad about this figure is I don't know what they were thinking with that knee thing. What's up with his knees? Why is that piece there that totally restricts his knee movement? I don't get it. I really don't get it. It feels like my YouTube career right now. It's like, yeah, it exists, but what's the point? You know, I just don't, I don't understand it, but whatever. It is what it is. I mean, if worse comes to worse, you can always just shave that piece down to give him that extra range of movement without having to, like, unclip anything. That would solve the problem. So yeah, it's it's a decent figure. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just, you know, it's right there in the middle for me. But yeah. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Studio Series figures, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition Voyager Class Megatron. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Bomb in your face. All right, Prime, leave this planet immediately before more innocent bots are needlessly slaughtered. Oh, you don't tell me what to do, Megatron. It is I who tell you. Oh, contraire, Primey boy. There will be much telling, but it will be by me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Say, by the way, did you steal our couch? It was a red one with a pink back. I don't know what you're talking about. Bye.